Hey open source community and friends of Typo3! In my last video I talked about Typo3 version 11.1 and I mentioned the multi-factor authentication that's now integrated. But I really did not go into it because honestly I didn't know yet how it works. So I just wanted to give you a real quick overview. In this video I'm gonna show you how the multi-factor authentication works. So stay tuned! Okay guys, so here we go, welcome to my screen. I'm already on the backend login page of my Typo3.11 and I'm gonna simply perform a login to my account first, which is still a regular login with just username and password, works like a charm. So in order to activate multi-factor authentication, which is when we go on my backend user, it still says MFA disabled and I can't just dis uh, enable it here. I need to go to my user settings to the tab account security, which was called password in, for, uh, in earlier versions of Typo3. So we click on account security. Here we can change our password like always. And there's a new button to set up multi-factor authentication. So, the first thing we're going to do is we create a time-based one-time password. Click on Setup. So, the, ba the whole thing is basically self-explaining if you know how multi-factor authentication basically works. I'm, I'm just entering a name here, Simon, because this is my account for Simon. And now, this is the tricky thing. Uh, how do I get the six digit code? So I need to use an app on my smartphone. I'm gonna show you guys this real quick. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick how I do this on my phone. I have this app called Authenticator. Authenticator. I click it. I already have two accounts here. So I'm gonna add a new one and make a picture. Oh, that's fast. Bam, here we go, Typo3 version 11. Oh, that's a pretty easy code. I don't know if you guys can see that. 199990. This is the code I have to enter. In the meantime, my app gave me a new code. So I had to cut this video. The next, the new number is 993703. So this is the, the six digit code that my cell phone generated. I'm going to save this one. Bam. So here we go. My time-based one-time password provider is activated. So let's give it a try. Log out. My credentials are already saved here. My normal credentials that I still need, of course. I'm going to click on login. And now Tapu3 asks me for the time-based one-time password, which is now given in my authenticator app and this one is six 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 four two one bam so this works basically guys this is how the multi-factor authentication works but there's one more step to explain one more interesting things here um, now i'm going back to my user settings account security and the button is not green anymore. Now I can click on manage. I can manage my existing providers. Um, in the example before I had this, this one already activated. Now it's deactivated because I want to show you guys. Uh, recovery codes, it's just a bunch of extra codes that you can generate in case you lose your credentials, you lose your app, whatever, you can't log in for any reason. You can have a bunch of recovery codes that you save in a different safe place. Uh, maybe even on a you write it down on paper whatever let's set up these recovery codes so here we go once we click on setup we get we'll get some codes to copy we're gonna copy these codes into the clipboard enter a name I'm gonna enter a name just just my name again and save this provider nope 
I figured out that the save button needs to be clicked several times, at least in my browser. So typo 3 also needs a bit of time to do this. Anyways, now I have both providers activated and let's check this again. So what I'm going to do now for this uh, tutorial is I'm going to post my codes real quick into a text file so that I can use them. Those are my recovery codes. And now I'm going to log out and let's act like I have lost my credentials. Okay. Log in with pa username and password. But now let's say my app's not working. My app cannot generate the code or whatever the code's not working. So then there's this new field here uh, or new area, alternative providers use recovery codes. If you click this one, typo three asks you for a recovery code. Let's copy the third one here just for fun. Verify. No, I need to click. Bam. We're in. So, yeah, guys, this was it. This is basically the new feature multi factor authentication for back end users in Typo 3 11.1. Thanks for watching. If you have any question, if I forgot something, please write it down in the comments. Please subscribe my channel, look at my other videos, and yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna do a lot of new videos soon. Okay, bye bye.